Hello everyone, in the first video we created a blank desktop project using Python custom Kinter. We learned how to change the theme, title, and size of the desktop app. In this video we will add a button to the desktop application. We will also learn how to define a task function for the button. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. I recommend that you do the project with me. I am creating a button variable. I can set the properties of the button by sending some parameters to the button function. The button will be created in the desktop window owned by the app variable. The string that I specified with the text parameter specifies the name of the button. I am using the place function to set the button's position in the desktop window. The two parameters sent to the function represent the x and y coordinates of the object. I want the button to appear in the middle of the desktop window. I use the anchor variable to do this. But here I need to use Tinter in addition to custom Tinter library. I'm transferring the Tinter library with import. I set the button's position to center. Since we have set the theme of the application to green, the color of the button has been created as green. I want to show you how to change the name of the button. You can change the name of the button as you wish. You can change the physical location of the button with the parameters sent to the place function. You can change the color of the button with the parameters sent to the theme function. Only the color of the button has not changed. If different objects were in the desktop window, they would all change color. I want to repeat what we learned in the previous lesson. Let's change the desktop apps mode. As you will remember, there are three options. I want to show you dark, light and system mode again. You can use these parameters to change the theme of the desktop application. Now let's add a task function to the button. The buttons function has a command parameter. I'm synchronizing a function to this parameter. I'm creating a function with the same name. This function will be activated as soon as the button is pressed and all the codes in the function will work. For example, let's print a text indicating that the button has been pressed to the console screen with print. As soon as the button is clicked, the task function is running. The specified text is printed on the screen. Let's change the position of the button and the size of the window. My goal is to repeat all that we learned in the previous lesson. Let's also change the title of the desktop application. In the next lesson we will transfer objects to frame objects instead of syncing them directly to the desktop window. In order to develop a good desktop project, we need to fully learn how to use frame objects. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.